In 2015, Maryland farmers used more than 21 billion gallons of water to irrigate their crops. About three quarters of that came from underground aquifers, and the rest mostly from surface water, or streams and creeks running across farmland. But here at Piccadilly Farm in Kent County, farmer Franklin Dill's irrigation system pulls water from another source altogether, the Wharton Wastewater Treatment Plant, less than two miles away. We have approximately 200 acres on this farm, and we grow corn, wheat, soybeans, and a rotation. And as of 2012, under irrigation. We'd like to have had water years and years ago, but there's no water under the ground in this part of the county. There's a stream that runs through the property, but you can't get enough water to run an irrigator. So when the county approached Franklin with a proposal to water his crops using treated wastewater from the nearby plant, he was interested, if a little wary. I knew nothing about it, whether it had any smell or what was in the water. And I went to several different ones to look at them. And finally, I was convinced that the water was fine. Though it doesn't start out that way. The wastewater plant services about 300 plus homes in the Wharton and Butler Town area. We receive about 50,000 gallons per day of raw municipal wastewater. Every load of laundry, every flush toilet, it all makes its way here. Step one is screening out the big stuff. Paper products, plastic products, basically anything you can put down a three inch pipe. But the hard part is getting rid of everything else food particles, soap suds, human waste, all of the teeny tiny suspended solids that make the water brown instead of clear, not to mention dissolved nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. Inside these tanks, microscopic bacteria break down the solids and release the nutrients as gases into the atmosphere. And from there, it goes through a filtration system. What that does is it allows the liquid under vacuum to be drawn into the tubes and separated from the solid, which is creating the brown color. And from there it goes out through a UV for disinfection. And voila, clean, clear water. But at this point in the process, 95 to 100 percent of the nutrients are removed. But the plant's final challenge is where to put all of that water. Sure, it's clean enough to go into the bay, but why waste it? The world today is trending towards reuse of water because it is so hard to come up with clean water for crop production. Even though we're right by a big body of water, it's not suitable to use for irrigation because of the sodium content. So the plant recycles what it can at Franklin's farm, one of only a small number in the state using recycled wastewater to grow crops. This is the, the holding pond. The water is pumped out here approximately a mile and a half, maybe a mile and three quarters from the treatment plant. Franklin agrees to use at least two million gallons per season, with the option to use more, helping the plant dispose of its abundance of water. One pivot one time around will take over a million, so that has not been a problem. In turn, he gains access to a free water source, which has made a huge difference in how much grain he can grow. Outside of those pivots, it may be on a bad, bad year, 50 bushels of the acre, and inside of them, it'd be 200 or more. Water's a big deal. I just wish we had more of it to irrigate more land. 